Hello guys, I welcome you all to this video. I am Preena Mabel, Assistant Professor of English in KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. There is always something left to love and if you ain't learned that, you ain't learned nothing. This is a wonderful words said by Lorraine Hansberry. Today we are gonna learn about one of the works of Lorraine Hansberry, A Rising in the Sun. Let me give a short introduction of Lorraine Hansberry. She was born on 19 May 1930. She was an African American playwright and authoress of political speeches, letters and essays. Hansberry attended the University of Wisconsin but left in the 1950 to pursue her career as a writer in New York. At 29 years, she became the youngest African American playwright and only the fifth woman to receive the New York Drama Critics Circle Award for Best Play. Her other plays are Les Blanc's The Sign in Sydney Brewstein's Window, The Drinking God and What Use Our Flaws. She was died at her age of 34 after a long battle with pancreatic cancer. She died on January 12, 1965. Let me introduce the characters first. The first character is Walter Lee Younger. He is the protagonist of the play and Benita Younger, she is the sister of Walter Younger and daughter of Lena Younger. She is shortly called Benny. She is 20 year old. The next character is Lena Younger. She is the mother of Walter and Benita, shortly called Mama. Ruth Enger, she is the wife of Walter. Travis Enger, she, he is the son of Walter and Ruth. Joseph Asagai, he is a Nigerian student who loves Benita. The next character is George Moshin. He is one of the shooters of Benita, has immense pride in his social status. The last character is Mr. Carl Linder, he is the only white character in this play who often visits the younger's apartment. I hope that you can understand the relationship between the characters. Let's move to the plot summary. The play A Rising in the Sun deals with the life of the youngers, an African American family living on the south side of Chicago in the 1950s. The youngers are expecting an insurance check for $10,000 which comes from the deceased Mr. Younger's insurance policy. All of them in the family has a dream to spend that insurance money. So, Walter Younger dreams of owing his own liquid shop. His mother, Mama, she wants to buy a, buy a big house, her dream house. But Benita wants to use the money for her medical school. His mother gives him a portion, his mother gives Walter to, uh, a portion of money uh, to, for the, uh, to invest in the liquid uh, store and some money to set aside for Benita to get a seat in the medical school. The youngest family is approached by a man, Mr. Linder, for whom Mama puts a down payment on a house for the whole family, but he comes and offers the youngest money in return for staying away. Afterwards, the truth revealed that Walter has given all of the money to his business part partner who stole it and left town. Then Walter invited Linda back to the apartment insisting them to accept his offer but Walter's pride won't let him and he turns Linda away once more. Meanwhile, Benita got a proposal from Joseph. Joseph Asagai, a Nigerian boy who wants to marry Benita and uh, to get a medical degree and move to Africa with him.
despite the youngest family get through the financial crisis but they are optimistic and determined to have a better life in the end the youngers move out of the apartment this play narrates the unfulfilled desires of black people it is compared to the risings of the sun i hope this video finds useful for you thank you for watching